stop, I can't stop smiling. I just cannot stop smiling. Okay, everybody, they're having a... today it's Wednesday I am heading out to take Phineas to school this morning that is not my car that's Ronnie's car cute right my car is over here oh my gosh anyway I'm heading out to take Finn to school this morning um, it's getting close to the end of the school year which is nice it's warmer which is really nice I have a couple things going on today number one I've got to go buy some clothes for Virginia. I'm going to go to Target. Um, it's her birthday tomorrow, and she wants clothes in a backpack. So I'm going to run to Target and see what I can find this morning since it's really close to his school, which is, you know, two trips in one stone. And I'm going to see if I can find some Abriva for this thing. So what happens when you let yourself get dehydrated. Anyway, and then later today, I'm going to be... Wow, that's loud. What? What on earth? Okay. Later today, I'm going to be heading out with Sully and Loretta. We are, well, I'm taking them to a fetal photos location for fun. Um, she's like 16 and a half weeks, almost 17 weeks. And I was like, the other day, I was like, you know what? I can make you an appointment for an ultrasound if you want. And they said yes. So I made the appointment and I'm going to go with them. But I did make the caveat. I will pay for it and I will take them. They didn't want me to pay for it, but I am. <laughs> um, and I will go with them and be in the waiting room, but they do not have to tell me if the baby's a boy or a girl. So you guys may not find that out today. I don't know if they're planning a gender reveal or if they're just gonna tell me and that'll be that. But today they get to find out if they're having a boy or a girl. It's so exciting. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you enjoy going shopping with me this morning and We'll talk to you in a little while. All right, so here I am to Target. I do not know if Target has lifted their mask policy. That's one thing I haven't talked about on our channel yet is that Utah is doing so great. 40% of Utahns are now vaccinated and even more are half vaccinated, which is really great. And we're having less than 500 new cases of COVID a day. So our state has really opened up. We do not have to wear our masks at dance anymore. And like the businesses get to choose whether or not they're requiring masks. I do not know if Target is still requiring them. So I'm going to go ahead and wear mine um, just in case. But yeah, it, things are looking really, really good here in Utah on the COVID front. While in India, people are dying by the thousands and they're having to burn bodies on the street like something out of, you know, medieval times. It's horrifying, horrifying. And of course, that's where Ronnie was born. And we are just absolutely praying for India every single day and freaking out. Like, uh, it's rough. It's rough, guys. Can't do anything about it from here. Anyway, I'm heading into Target on that happy note. And I'm going to go shopping for Virginia. And I hope I find some really cute stuff. <laughs>
away in the car. I'm meeting Sullivan up at the uh, photo, ultrasound fetal photos place. Sully and Loretta are meeting me there and I'm excited to do this with, the, with them. I hope they don't feel it's weird that I'm like coming. Maybe I should just tell them to go without me. I don't know, it just feels kind of a little bit awkward like I'm trying to like push my way into doing this with them. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna go sit in the waiting room unless they invite me in. And I'm hoping they'll videotape it for you, but if they won't, then I'm sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna focus on driving now instead of talking and I will catch you guys over there. survive is there a baby in there yep, oh I'm so happy just one that's a relief oh geez nope just one and now you get to pick a bear oh shoot he forgot to record how could he forget to record his own baby's ultrasound what do you mean so weird it's everybody records it you weirdo she should have taken me in there, not you. <laughs> we tell you later. A giraffe or elephant? Oh, they're so cute. I don't know. <laughs> I love this. It's good stuff. Oh, she's gonna hold them both. Yeah, that's true. Good point. And it's more fuzzy looking. She really wants the giraffe, I think. Nope. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, that was a sneak peek. Did you hear that somehow? An elephant is more gender appropriate. That makes no sense. They're both gender neutral. They're gender neutral. Do you guys, do you guys know when you're going to announce it or are you just going to keep it secret for a really long time until the very end? No, we're not keeping it secret. I just have to decide if I'm going to do like a party thing or if I'm just going to tell people. Sounds good. I'm down with either way. <laughs> I did a party thing with Jasper. Sort of. We did a pinata. The kids did it. Oh, cute. We did a video. The actual animal? Yeah. Oh, cute. didn't let him tell me. They actually offered to tell me and I was too worried I'll probably tell somebody so I decided I would wait with everybody else. I think they are gonna tell, sorry I'm trying to back up and I don't want to hit anybody. Um, I think they're gonna tell her family on Friday and then they're gonna tell us on Sunday. I just really hope that her family doesn't like say anything on Facebook and ruin it for, for our family. That's my only worry. Um, the reason why they're telling us because they're going to tell us when they come over for Virginia's birthday. So here's hoping that I don't get, it doesn't get spilled that way and I get to find out with everybody else on 
Sunday. But yeah, I'm excited. They said that the baby looks good, kicking around everywhere, moving around, looking great and healthy. So that's a relief for me anyway. That's what you always worry about with babies. Maybe not with your first, but me, that's what I always think about, whether or not the baby's okay. So such a relief. And yeah, I guess I'm heading home to get some more editing done. Just got home. Try not to stop. I can't stop smiling. I just cannot stop smiling. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, there's Ronnie. They're all going to ask me probably if I know. So it's probably good they didn't tell me because I don't know if I keep a straight face when I lie. Now I don't have to lie. So that's good. <laughs> oh man our yard the grass looking so rough I was hoping to have Virginia's party out here on Sunday hopefully it'll look better by then got my beautiful favorite flowers these are my favorite flowers lilacs by the way if you didn't already know that and Dave gave me these on Mother's Day he filled my pots for me with plants that match so cute We'll see if they ask me. Hmm, a big box. Did I order something? I don't think I ordered something. Okay, everybody, they're having a. I have no idea. They didn't tell me. <laughs> but it's a baby and it's okay and it's healthy and it's kicking and has a heartbeat. Woohoo! Why didn't they tell me? Because I would tell you. <laughs> yeah. Chickens! Apparently she's telling everybody that I'm here. Oh yeah, really? Okay. <laughs> Some of the babies. I think that one there might be a rooster. And the other three look like hens. Well, that one's a rooster. Hi, Sheik. Chickens, baby chickens. Baby chickens, baby chickens. Yeah, that one there I think is a rooster. Chickens, baby chickens. <laughs> All right, anyway, and then these poor guys that we brought in the other day, they're doing great. They just kind of keep to themselves. Got uh, pancake and sausage over here. Look how much bigger they are than these babies. House grown babies, chicken yard grown babies. And do you see what's missing here? Their mother. I'll show you. Really? I'll show you why in just a minute. tell now that they have all their feathers. Aren't they pretty? Is my problem. Broody chicken number one. Broody chicken number two. Broody chicken number three. Oh, don't even get started guys because in here 
What do we have? Broody chickens number four, five, six. Yes, she's broody again, and seven. So basically, pretty much all of my chickens, they get broody, we let them raise up some babies, and they go right back to being broody a second the chickens are six weeks old. Every single time. So I gave each of these guys, hello? Yeah? Hmm, yeah. Yeah, woman, what's wrong with you, huh? Why do you have to keep raising the babies? Yeah? I gave each one of these chickens like two eggs to sit on. In the coop, the other chickens, or them, ate them all. In here, we have four left, and she is the one sitting on them. So, I have to get them out every single time to get the eggs. As you can see, I'm hardly getting any eggs. That's because all the chickens are broody. Yes, you. I'm talking about you, woman. Good grief. That's Shadow. She was broody right before we got the baby chicks, and she's the reason we started this whole ridiculousness of raising up baby chicks. And she's broody again. <sighs> Anybody want to buy a broody chicken? I got a few. She keeps coming back every time I toss her out over and over. The other ones will stay out for a minute. But luckily, she doesn't bite me, so she's pretty easy to toss out. But you can see I have marked the four that are left. I honestly haven't candled these. I think they're two and a half weeks in, so they should hatch within the next week, if they're gonna. So I just toss them out, take the ones out, and then leave those four in and hope. So yeah. Slim pickings with the eggs lately. And she's already back. Thing is that the gold one will come in and take over because the gold one thinks they're hers. But the gray one wants them more. I don't know what they're gonna do when there's babies. She thinks I'm gonna toss her out again, so she's like, oh, do I go out again? You don't have to. I don't care. Or are you just gonna sit on a golf ball? Huh? What you gonna do, Rockstar? What you gonna do? She's gonna sit on the eggs. <laughs> So funny.